What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at DataQuest. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a review on DataCamp and a ton of people were commenting saying I needed to review DataQuest. And so, of course, I'm going to do that for you guys. Uh, I checked it out. I have a what I feel is a pretty good review, pretty good feeling for the platform, the website, and who I think it's for, who I don't think it's for. And I might compare it a little bit to DataCamp because I've already done a video on that one. So without further ado, let's jump over to my screen and actually start checking out DataQuest. All right, so as you can see at the top, I have not purchased this. They still want me to buy it, um, but it's billed annually, and so I don't want to pay like $200 plus dollars uh, just to do this review. Although I care about you guys, uh, I am just very cheap, and so I'm not going to do that. Um, and just so you know, this is not sponsored in any way. Otherwise, they probably would have given me some type of free subscription or something. Um, but, you know, I do this for you. Uh, I want this to be 100% transparent and, and me not having any type of bias in this. Um, so let's jump right into it. This is the dashboard that you're going to be seeing right when you come in. Um, during the actual signup process, and I, I didn't want to show all that because, you know, it's kind of lengthy. During the signup process, they kind of ask you um, several questions about yourself, what you're trying to learn, what kind of path you want to take, and then they kind of set you up on your dashboard. And so I chose the data analyst with Python, so that's my current path down here. Um, but I was checking out some other courses and different things, and the last one that I was on was this introduction to SQL. I can just click this resume progress. But since we're here, um, this is the path that I'm on, and so what it does is it kind of walks you through all the steps, um, as you can see, I've already done a few of these. I wanted to get a good feel for it. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, since I'm doing the free version, uh, of course, I don't have all the, um, I guess you could say courses, but this is, uh, I guess, course. These are like the individual lessons. I don't have all the individual lessons, so I haven't checked all of them out, but I have gotten a pretty good feel for it. I wanted to show you a little bit more about the actual user interface before we jumped into one of the courses and I showed you what that's like. If you saw my video on DataCamp, DataCamp has all their things on this left-hand side, all the courses, all the skills path, all the projects, all those things in one place. On DataQuest, it is not like that. It takes you to this homepage, but if you wanna to go to other places, you kind of have to click over here and so you can go to the course directory and the community and that's really the only other places that you can go. Um, but let's head over to the course directory real quick. You can either click this course directory or you can click this little uh, magnifying glass. So we'll click that really quick. And it goes to explore our catalog. And so you can kind of search for any skill that you're wanting. Um, so real quick, let's do SQL uh, and SQL fundamentals, intermediate SQL, intermediate SQL and R. All of these things pop up and you can kind of search for it. Um, if you remember from DataCamp, again, I'm going to be com kind of comparing it to DataCamp because it's pretty fresh still in terms of when I last did that review. Um, I feel like the user interface for DataCamp um, was a little bit better than DataQuest. Um, and, the, and the reason for that is because when I searched on DataCamp, I would have different columns um, come up with pictures and a little bit more description of it. Whereas with this one, it kind of just says SQL fundamentals and this really quick thing. You know, that's just personal preference. Um, I kind of have to click into this and then look through all the courses and it takes a little bit more time where I can get a little bit better description from the data camp one. Again, that's just my personal opinion. Something that immediately stood out to me right away is I didn't think that DataQuest had projects. Um, and that was concerning to me because I really like that about data camp. Um, they do have projects, it's just set up in a little different way. If you saw the career paths or the learning paths, they have the projects um, in them. And so the projects are kind of built into those uh, learning paths. You can also search for them here, it just doesn't have its own, I guess, section. Um, but if I search projects, different projects do come up. So machine learning project, data cleaning project walkthrough. Um, and so they do have projects on here. You just have to, I guess, search for them individually um, rather than there being their own little section where then you can filter like on SQL or Python or R like in DataCamp. With that being said though, let's actually jump into a course and see what it's like. Currently I am doing the data analyst in Python path, um, but they have a few different paths. They have data analyst in Python, data scientist in Python, data engineer, data analyst in R and SQL fundamentals, and this is a new one. And so they don't have a lot of paths at the moment. Um, if you remember DataCamp, again, 
I'm going to be comparing to Data Camp quite a bit today. If you remember Data Camp, there were a lot of different paths. I mean, I'm thinking there were about like 15 or 20 of them. But remember, Data Quest is fairly new. They're still building these out. Um, and I genuinely think that they are pretty good paths. And we'll look at that a little bit more in depth in just a little bit. Let's move on really quick and look at some of the courses that they have. So the first course that we're going to be looking at is SQL, of course. Uh, group summary statistics is what we're going to be learning. One thing I want to note is I have not seen any videos in here. If you remember on Data Camp, they actually had videos. Um, I haven't seen any videos at all on DataQuest as of yet. Um, and I've used it quite a bit, uh, or at least enough to know that I don't think they have videos. Uh, not something I'm super happy about. I personally like videos. I do not like reading and reading and reading. Um, it can be a bit monotonous to me. I enjoyed the videos um, and I felt like it was kind of a nice break to just be able to watch it instead of having to read, um, which is what DataQuest does. All that is is reading and, and kind of figuring it out yourself. I like someone to kind of walk me through it so that I can understand the concept a little better. Um, but if you don't like the videos, then you will really like DataQuest. So looking at this course, it has 14 different sections. This is just the introduction, kind of walking through um, the table that we're going to be working with and all that. I've already worked through some of these things, so you'll see um, some of my answers over here. But something you should notice is that this display is quite familiar. Uh, it's very similar to data camps you have on this left side where you read and you learn and they kind of walk you through. And then um, at the very bottom, way down here, let me get there. They're going to walk you through or ask you specific questions that you then need to answer. If you at any time have any issues or any trouble, you can either get a hint and they'll just give you a small hint, or you can actually see the answer and they will just literally give you the answer and you can copy and paste it over here. And so um, they make it really easy. There's no points. There's no, you know, you have to pay 30 points to get it. It's just if you want it, it's there. And so they make it pretty easy to learn these things or get the answers if you're stuck so that you can, um, you know, move on to the next section. One thing that I really like about DataQuest is they have a very good way of walking through these topics. Um, I've looked at a lot of different topics now on DataQuest and every single one of them is done very well. I actually like it quite a bit more than data camps. I felt like data camps was good. Um, I have nothing against it. I just feel like data quest does just an even better job. Um, I like the way that they do the graphics. I like the way that they kind of organize things and, and, and kind of present it and talk about it. I'm just a big fan of it, to be honest. I really liked how they taught each section and gave lots of examples. I prefer that. And so that's just me. I really liked it. Really quick, I'm going to take you to one that I have not actually looked at or I have not done yet. Um, and let's look at it together and walk through it and see what it looks like. So in this one, we're learning multiple summary statistics by group. Um, it looks like we're basically looking for total number of employees, average, maximum, minimum, um, aggregate functions using the group by. Um, and so that's exactly what it's showing us. Then we have um, our output. Uh, down here at the very bottom, it's going to give us our problem. So, you know, I'm just skipping to the bottom. It, we, we know what we're going to be learning. And then it's going to say, uh, write a query for each major category displaying the following in this order. And so we're doing the total number, average, and then multiplying the total number of graduates by the average proportion of women with the alias estimate women. So really, of course, useful topic. This stuff you'll use all the time. Um, I'm not going to actually write out everything, but I'm going to use this get help really quick. I'm going to get the answer um, and I can just copy this and I can paste it. This is what it's going to look like when you write it in here and you can run this code to make sure that it works. Um, and then after that, you can check it out if you'd like. You can also just submit your answer and it's going to tell you whether it's right or wrong. Of course, I got it right because I just copied and pasted it. But if you got it wrong, it would tell you and then uh, it would give you a little hint or say here's what the error was and then you can go back and fix it. So really quick, before we start talking about the price and my final thoughts on DataQuest, I wanted to look at one of the projects. So this is the data cleaning project walkthrough. If we go down here, these are the courses and, and they break it up by courses, just like they do kind of any regular learning path that they have. Um, so in this, you're going to do some data cleaning, um, combining the data, and then you're going to be doing some visualization and then it gets the actual project. So it kind of teaches you the stuff first and then it gets you into the guided project. 
What I will say is, is I can't tell how they're gonna do this guided project. If you go into this data cleaning walkthrough, it is the same as kind of a basic regular course. Um, and so this part at least is still gonna have this format where you run the scripts on the right side and you learn on the left side. I'm not sure if that is how it is in the guided project, but I hope it isn't. What I really liked about DataCamp's projects is that it put it into a Jupyter Notebooks, something that a lot of data analysts will eventually use, a really good IDE to be familiar with, all of these things into the Jupyter Notebook that you could download and use as a project. And so I cannot verify if DataQuest does that. If somebody who uses DataQuest and has paid the money to use DataQuest and done a project, please comment below and let us know. I'm genuinely looking to you guys to answer this one. Um, I don't think it's a deal breaker for me, but you know, I really like the fact that I can then go and add that to my portfolio and I can't verify if that's how it is on DataQuest. But uh, overall, I think that what they're teaching and the projects that they have on DataQuest are really good. All right, so now let's look at how much it costs. Of course, they have the free version. That's what we were using. We kind of got a sample, a little taste of the courses. And so we did get to learn some things for free. If you want to upgrade though, it is gonna cost you. Um, for the premium, they're having a what I guess is a discount. I believe that's just their normal cost, which is $24.50. That's 50 cents cheaper uh, than Data Camp. So, you know, you're really lucking out there. Um, but that is per month billed yearly. Um, if we go over here and I actually, whoops, I already had this pulled up. Uh, the yearly is $24.50 per month. And so I don't know, what is that? Like $300 or something like that. But if you do it per month, it actually goes up to $49. And that is quite expensive. Um, to me, $50 a month is a high price to pay. That is not something I would have paid um, in my early days of learning data analytics and all those things. Um, but for you, that might be a totally reasonable cost. I do think that's just a little bit on the higher end, at least from what I've seen. Um, but again, that's what it costs. Um, do I think it's worth $50? Um, I guess this is a good time to get into my overall thoughts because I want to tell you if it's worth to pay those $50 per month or you know $300 upfront in order to use DataQuest. So here's my overall thoughts on the platform. I think it is a very good platform. It's well organized. It's very easy to find things. I think when you actually go into the course to learn, I really like how they do the learning. The only thing that I don't like is that I don't have videos. I personally like videos. You guys know I love Udemy and Coursera and that's all video style. And so I can kind of listen and watch while I'm typing um, and kind of taking notes. Whereas in this one, it's all text. And so it's all reading and then, you know, replicating that and, and learning it that way. I do think it is very well taught though. The concepts are very well done. I like the um, graphics that they have. I like the way that they teach. and so. Overall, I really do enjoy the platform. I have nothing against the platform at all, but $50, um, $50 to me, again, it's, it's, it's just expensive. Whereas other platforms are cheaper, some are like $35 or $25, um, either billed yearly or monthly. And so there are cheaper options out there. DataCamp had uh, the career path as well as a skills path where uh, DataQuest does not have that. And they didn't have many to choose from. I think there's only five or six. And so they're obviously still growing. They're still building out their website. And so they're not gonna have everything like DataCamp has. And they have just a lot more options, which I, of course, personally liked because there were a lot of different ones that I was like, man, this looks really good. Again, that's nothing against DataQuest. They're still growing. They're still building out their website. But DataCamp had a lot more to offer on that front. So who do I think this is for? I really think if you are trying to learn Python, SQL, or R, this is a really good place to start. Um, it looked like the SQL was still being built out. It was still in beta. So I don't know how extensive that goes into that skill. Um, but if you really don't like videos, specifically, if you really like reading and you like doing all that stuff um, without the videos, I think this is a perfect platform for you. Me personally, uh, I know I maybe have said this twice now, I like videos. And so I kind of would miss the videos if I started using this platform. I'd be like, man, I'm, it's a lot and a lot of reading. I love reading, um, but I also really like videos because I can take notes at the same time. That's just me. I think this is really good for beginners. Um, I don't think this has a lot of intermediate content. I looked through a lot of the stuff and 
Um, you know, they have stuff on pandas and they have stuff on NumPy, but it doesn't go super in depth. Um, DataCamp, I think, goes a little bit more in depth. And I think they cover a few more difficult topics, um, which is a really good thing in the long run. But if you really just want to get the basics down of a lot of these skills, and I will say they covered almost every skill in R and Python um, and kind of the beginner stuff of SQL that I think is extremely important. So they cover a lot of the really important basic concepts. Overall, do I recommend DataQuest? Yes, I think that DataQuest is a good platform. I really enjoyed a lot of the things that I saw. It just wasn't as built out as I was kind of hoping or expecting, especially for $50 per month. Um, but there is a lot of people who are watching this and are thinking, man, that's really something that I like, that I enjoy. And there's a lot of people out there who I know have already messaged me asking me to do this review who really like DataQuest. And so, you know, don't just take it from me. I'm just one source, you know, do your own research, look at the platform, test it out yourself and see if it's something that you enjoy. Again, there were a lot of people who were saying I had to review DataQuest because they like it so much more. It's more projects-based, it's more hands-on. Um, and so if you really do like that project side, that's what a lot of people have said that they liked about DataQuest. So not something that I really dived into uh, in this video, but something that a lot of people mentioned. And so take their experience over mine. Um, and if you really like the project side of things, which I'm a huge fan of, I just didn't get to personally try it because uh, I'm cheap and I didn't do the paid version. I didn't want to spend $50 for one month. Um, do that and do the projects and learn that way. I, I wholeheartedly agree that if those projects are good, you should be using them. So with that being said, I hope that this gave you a good glimpse into DataQuest as a whole. I hope that you... Um, you know, either liked it or didn't like it. I either saved you some money or, you know, this is a good place to invest your money. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I have so many videos coming out soon and I will see you in the next video.